Today I am doing makeup specifically for my nieces. So they are going to high school, like three of them are going to high school this year. And my brother is having a conflict with letting his girls wear makeup. You know, peer pressure, all that stuff. My vote is for no. Um, 16 is usually when you start wearing makeup. Let them do like the rest of us and sneak. I mean, I'm just saying, let them come get in the car and then they sit in the back seat. Like, oh, your mom's asking like, oh, how's your day? And you're like, oh, I had a good day. You're like, you, you don't even notice the lipstick is still on or something like that. Okay, let me fix this. You don't notice your lipstick is still on, that liner you wasn't supposed to put on, something like that. Let them do that. So, anyway, today I'm going to wear really, really regular makeup. Obviously, I have to do my eyebrows because I don't have any. And then um, I put like a moisturizer on my face, but that's it. And so, I'm only going to wear four things, which is my really everyday look. I'm only going to wear, not even every day. I'm lying, I don't wear none of this stuff. Um, I'm gonna put on eyeliner, I'm gonna put on mascara, and I'm going to put, do a lip. Because I think that we have to give with time so you make a little bit of an adjustment, but this full face, lashes, 30 inch weave, nails out to here, I don't think that that's appropriate. That's just me, you raise your kid however you want to. I personally don't agree with it, and I really don't particularly like the excuse of, oh, well, you know, you need to get with the times and all their friends are doing it. That's the same mumbo jumbo we were saying when we were kids, and our parents was like, no, don't care what your friends are doing. Um, and them talking about, you know, people on Instagram are doing it. Yeah, because they have YouTube channels. So they're doing it for YouTube and they take it off. I can guarantee you they don't wear that to school. That's number one. Um, and then you couldn't possibly talk, be talking about celebrity kids. Like I have a niece that is in gymnastics and she wears makeup. Her her um, team is predominantly, sorry about that. Their, her team is predominantly um, not African-American. And so I don't like the products that they're putting on her. She put them on her Christmas list. So I went all out and bought her this big old kit. But I bought her the kit because of what she does, not to wear every day. And then I bought like neutral colors and things like that because like gymnastics and stuff, you wear like blue, electric blue and all that other stuff. Um, but I bought a very neutral palette as well. And that's what she wears to school, but she's in that realm. So it's a difference. Um, I'm super glad that half my nieces don't even like makeup. Um, the Divine Purpose girls don't even like makeup. So let's get started. So my eyebrows. And I'm going to use my crayon case liner. I am going to smudge it out just a little bit, but it's because of my eye shape. So some things that we do with makeup, um, girls, this is me talking to the girls that just started high school. So if you want, you can let your daughter listen to it. Um, some of the things that you'll do for makeup or that you see um, on Instagram or even that you see your auntie doing or whatever. We do it because of the shape of our face or our eye and what we're trying to do, right? So I wear a lighter concealer above my eye because I wanna open them up. I wanna make them bigger. And then I smudge my liner out at the bottom again because I wanna like drag my eyes out because they are small. Um, if I smile, they'll disappear. So that's what I like to do. So liner, just that quick. I'll take my um, crayon case brush because I didn't take another one out and it's small like my eye and I'll smudge it out just a little bit on the outside but really just a little bit because I actually have uh, nice lashes on the bottom I have lashes on the bottom so when I put on the mascara on the bottom it will define my eyes okay and that's that uh, do I want to wear, you can come in, do I want to wear a liner on the top? Yes, I want to, but no, I'm not going to because I don't want the younger kids to wear it. And I can't find my um, Maybelline mascara, which is more cost effective for high school. I only have my MAC one. Um, 
parents, since y'all are willing to invest in everything else, just buy the Mac one. The reason why, because this is 40, and so your kids should not be wearing lashes in the ninth grade. But if they get a really good mascara, it will enhance their natural lash, especially a 3D or a 4D, because it makes them look a little bit more exaggerated. I like all things natural. And that's Talia in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> and she does not wear makeup either. She wears lashes and I think lip gloss. Yes, Most of the girls in the Divine Purpose program, all of my nieces, they don't wear makeup. So I bought all of those kits. And when I asked them what they wanted, because I was going to give them everything, right? I have this huge stock. All of them said lashes and lip gloss. <laughs> so, so no problem that I have a full warehouse of makeup that I need to figure out what to do with. But it's nice to have an inventory. Okay. You see the difference in my eyes? That one is more exaggerated. And you can still see this one, but only because I have this um, concealer behind it. And let's see. I like it. Now getting this stuff off is something else. I would recommend the um, Pons. And Pons you can get at the 99 cent store. So I would recommend a Pons, which is like I guess a cold cream. I don't know. But you put it, rub it on your makeup and it comes off smoother. So that you don't look like Rudolph at the end. One of my um one of my business friends told me that because I was complaining about my face hurting. Cause sometimes in reality, we record more than once. So you'll do your makeup and record, and then you'll go switch your outfit, put your hair up and take off your makeup and you'll record again. When you, especially when you're trying to put some in the chamber. So when you travel, you don't have to do it. I, however, I don't do that. I did at first, but then I got other stuff to do. So I got behind. I'll do it though, don't worry. Okay. All done, now let me do my bottom. Lashes. Something else I do with my lashes is I pluck them. If they turn upside down and start getting in my eyes and make my life miserable, I'll take my tweezers and I pull them. <laughs> because they hurt. Um, I think, I think one of my nieces wears blush. I think so. Let's see if I could do a quick blush. Probably. Oh, I can. I actually can. Here's a brush. Right in front of me. So, for your blush, it should be a natural color also. FYI, you can dual um, a palette. The um, These tones here, they are also blush. You can also do lipstick with them. I'm going to use the Sage's color. I like it has a little bit of purple in it. And because I do not put on foundation, I need to blend that in and highlight my red tone. So my face is red tone. It makes me looking like Rudolph. And there's no concealer under here. Your face has natural highlights. That's why you put the makeup back down the way you do. So this part here is light and this part is light. This is my regular face. That's why when you put your foundation on, that's one flat color, you go back over it and put the concealers and you um, cut your face because, not cut your face like that, but you um, 
what did I call it? But you put the darker color here. If you notice, my face is already dark here. That's why you put that back down when people are um, contouring, when you're contouring your face. That is already there. That's my natural face. Um, your line here, that's your natural face. Everything that you're doing, this is darker. Everything that you're doing, you're doing it with the makeup because you took your face and made it flat when you added all of the foundation to it. I also, We'll say that if you're in high school, if you have brows, you can go in and do a brow scara because it helps to lay your brows down and it makes them look more defined. See, perfect. Now I just have to do my lip and I can go. Half of y'all be late to school anyway. That's why you don't <laughs> need to be doing all this stuff. Y'all be late trying to look cute for school and be done walked out and left your homework and backpack at home. <laughs> I like browns. I like to lay on my lip with browns. Um, I feel like browns are appropriate for any age, but especially high school. We've been wearing this color. Me and my sister's been wearing brown since forever. And you could do it and then put on a gloss. which is perfect, but I'm going to do it with a nude color. Do it with a nude or a pink. Pick the color based on your skin color. Pink and key for everybody, okay? Don't do it. I can't, that's what I get for talking shit. Now I can't get the lip color out. Let me see. <laughs> I think I just put one right here. Okay, we're gonna have to switch our color because that one wouldn't come out. This is a reddish color. I'm gonna try to just do the bottom so that you can still see the effect. I'll tell you who the reds look nice for and still age appropriate. That would be more for the, the girls like my skin color are darker. FYI, you can still wear pink. I'm gonna do something with pink. This looks very adult. I'm gonna say no for my nieces. No, but the liner was a lighter color. I can't find it because I literally took that one out and, and it won't come out. It's stuck down there. So I'm definitely taking that back to Mac so they can give me another one. And then after you do, after you rub your lips together, you generally have to go back over them with a liner just a little bit to bring that color back in. That's it. It's just that simple. That's all you kids should be doing. But I am going to, I know, I keep saying, that's it. Only thing that I'm going to do is tone down this and bring it back to my um, original eye color. And I'm going to do it with a rust color. If you are high school age and one of your things that your parents let you wear is eyeshadow, it should only be one color. That's just my opinion. You should not be looking like a jigsaw puzzle and you're not trying to look sexy. Thanks. Just wear something to highlight your face and make your regular beautiful features stand out. That's the goal of makeup, by the way. It should be. I feel really bad for people that don't like the way that they look, so they're legit wearing makeup to hide all of this stuff. If I could find a foundation that would um, let my freckles and um, moles still come through, I would buy it. Perfect. Now we can go, because we're starving, FYI. I think that's it, let me double check my face. Mm, 
I could live with this face. Okay, that's it. Okay, goodbye butterflies, goodbye. Goodbye butterflies, goodbye. Goodbye. Wow. Is this one and then the other piece is the other It's a big piece like this. Can you bring it to me so I can actually put it on? Wait for the sunshine. Every rain becomes after it's been raining. Jumping the puddles and laugh. Go ahead and leave your head high. Nothing can keep you down. Go ahead and leave your head high. Give it just one more try. No, just the uh, one piece. The um, the band. Thank you.